That's something our kids have been shooting for since the offseason, since the first day after we lost in the second round of playoffs to Sunny Slope last year. We already had forgotten about Prescott and Mingus. We moved on. You know, our goal, our, our, our benchmark is Swirl High School, teams like that down the valley. And our kids just keep improving every single year. And the work ethic is much better here. What was it about uh, tonight, though, with the you're able to capitalize on turnovers towards the end of the first half and into the third quarter? Uh, how much did that help propel you in this game? Well, that's what our defense is about. You know, I talked about this all week long. You know, when we play big games, our defense shows up. You know, we got to get takeaways, put that ball back for our offense. And that's what our kids were doing. They're playing good, good physical, fast football, Bradshaw style, Black Plague style. And we're very proud of it. Coach, tell me about the difficulty there towards the end of the first half and into the third quarter with just trying to hold on to the football and what happened there. You know, football is a strange game, and emotions and momentum play a big role. And, you know, there's times when you're invincible and everything you do works. And there's times when carrying that football is like, you know, uh, you know, carrying like a, a Ming vase or something. It's just you're like, oh, my God. And we got in one of those funks where, I don't know, three or four drives in a row, we just handed the ball right back to them. And they're, they're a much too explosive offense to do that. And, and we're, not quite, we're not quite ready to go touchdown for touchdown with them yet. So... Yeah, that was, you know, that was obviously the story of the game right there. Can you see what makes Gunnar Bundrick so dangerous as, as an offensive weapon? Well, he's, I mean, he's really the, the complete package that you would want in a quarterback. He's big, he's fast, he's got a strong arm, he's accurate, and he makes good decisions. So, I mean, there's, there's not a lot to say against him. Uh, he's he's, a, he's a, a very good player, and uh, I look forward to kind of following him on the next level and seeing how his career goes. But, you know, a kid like that, I mean, man, I don't know. He made play after play, and uh, we knew it. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a mystery, but uh, he's a heck of a player. Do you feel like the game turned towards the end of the first half and into the third quarter when you guys were fumbling the ball away? Um, I don't think it really turned as much as it did. Just uh, you know, things started breaking down. We were having trouble, but you, know, we'll, you can't really change what happened. So we came out here. We fought. I know everyone fought as hard as they could. So that's how it is. Night. Tonight on the ground for you, um, some touchdown runs. Give me your thought, thoughts about uh, just how you guys were able to be so effective against Prescott offensively. We came motivated. That's all. That's all it was. We know what we had to do. I never been here for the rivalry game between Prescott and Bradshaw, but throughout the week they was telling me how important it was for them, and I felt like our whole entire team was just set on one goal and was ready for the game. So everyone was just clicked. The line was man. Line was doing beautiful. I know y'all seen the line tonight. Come on, we got to get our linemen out here. 
But um, Gunner, man, he had a phenomenal game. Three touchdowns. Shaver had a phenomenal game. He had some good rushes. We put in some um, some plays for him. And um, all of our lower classmen performed this game also. So I just feel like our team was just motivated all in all. Tell me about the emotions tonight of winning over Prescott to get the trophy back, but also to win the region. Oh, it was everything. Uh, we've been talking about it for months, how we're, it's going to come down to us versus Prescott and in front of our home crowd. We knew it was going to be a big crowd, emotional game. Um, everyone's going to play up when you're in these kind of games, and we just, we just came out on top. Do you feel like you have a chance?